In the world of Apple's, Microsoft's and Google's, NVIDIA was a little known name till a couple of years ago. Of course, gamers and tech enthusiasts swore by its popular graphics processing units. But their utility in generative artificial intelligence has changed the fortunes of the company. On June 19, NVIDIA passed Microsoft as the world's most valuable company. Its share price stood at $135, pushing its market capitalization to $3.335 trillion. That was more than Microsoft, Apple, and Google. NVIDIA's share price has gone up 160% in 2024. That is, if you have invested $2 in its stocks in January, it would have become 5 now. If you had invested a while earlier, the returns would have been much bigger. Few shares in the history of stock markets have performed so well. So, how can an Indian investor be a part of such an amazing growth? Mainly, there are two ways for an Indian investor to directly buy US stocks like Nvidia, Apple or Microsoft. One is by opening an overseas trading account with a domestic broker that offers access to foreign stock markets. The second option is opening an account with a foreign broker that has a presence in India. There are some indirect ways to invest in these stocks as well. One of them is investing in mutual fund schemes that have exposure to international markets. The total exposure of Indian funds in NVIDIA, for instance, is around 2000 crore. There is, though, a regulatory barrier here. The Indian mutual fund sector's overall overseas investment is limited to 7 billion US dollars, with each mutual fund house allowed a maximum of 1 billion dollars. Many fund firms have already hit the ceiling and have stopped accepting investments in overseas mutual funds. Yet another way is investing in exchange traded funds or ETFs. You can invest in American ETFs through a broker or buy global ETFs issued by Indian asset managers. Is there a limit on how much you can invest? There is. Under the liberalized remittance scheme, the Reserve Bank of India permits an Indian to invest up to $2.5 lakh a year without any special permission. In rupee terms, that comes to a bit more than rupees 2 crore. You also need to be aware of the additional charges you may incur. The RBI's liberalized remittance scheme imposes a 5% tax collected as source on remittance above Rs. 7 lakh. Taxpayers, however, can reclaim the TCS while filing income tax return. Then there is capital gains tax and dividend tax. The US taxes dividend at a rate of 25%. Here again, an investor can claim credit for taxes paid abroad and avoid double taxation. There is no capital gains tax on investments in the US, but Indians are liable to pay tax on the capital gains in India. Another expense you might incur are brokerages fees and bank charges. Brokerages charge a fee on transactions and banks charge a fee on foreign exchange conversions and transfers.